Hi, I'm Chip Rowan and this is Good to Know. Today we are at the Scottsdale Public Library and with me is Christy Smith, who is, is the Director of Children's Programs. Good yeah. to have you here with me today, Christy. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Hey, you're working on a new project here. Uh, it's a cookbook. You want to tell are. our viewers about what's going to sure. be in the cookbook and what's sure. happening there? Sure. So we decided last year we had um, our 110th year anniversary for the library. 110. You 110. look good for 110. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so we had wanted to do some celebrations. We wanted to have a huge event, but of course, everything with the pandemic, we weren't able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, we were kind of hoping to celebrate this year, but everything's still so up in the air that we thought we would do something a little different. So we decided to do a 111th year anniversary cookbook for the community. So we have been asking community members, businesses, families, um, people who used to live here, everybody to submit their favorite recipes and we're combining them all to make a big cookbook to sell as a fundraiser. That's great and the proceeds from this cookbook how will they help the library? So we are going to use the bulk of the proceeds to help in our youth programming specifically the teen and middle school programming. Um, we're hoping to buy some more online databases for them mm -hmm. and bulk up the book selection that they have. Um, we will use anything that's left over to help with our other programming in children's um, fundraising has been difficult. Uh -huh. Last year we had to cancel our basket bash, which brought in about $10,000. Wow, so that was a big, big loss in revenue. Huge loss, yes. So we are hoping, fingers crossed, that we can have it in November this year. We usually have it the weekend of Veterans Day. Okay. Um, so we're, we're planning for it. I hope you can have it too. That's right. <laughs> we are planning for it in hopes that we can do it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so this is just something a little extra, not only to like cheer people up with recipes, but to do a little fundraising for the library. Right. Well, it makes sense too. People are home. I think people are cooking more yes. at home because they are home. So getting some yes. new recipes would be nice. And you mentioned before uh, we started recording, uh, that you've got some almost celebrities that have submitted some. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about sure, that? Sure, sure. So we, I reached out to a lot of people, mm -hmm. um, and people in our community have connections. So we actually have some surprise recipes from um, a local newscaster. We have one from a professional um, coach, football coach, okay. and pro Hall of Famer. Yeah. Um, and we also have one from QED, from QED hosts their cook show uh -huh. that they have on Saturdays. We have one from them and we have a couple other surprises. So we want it to be something that it's a cookbook, but you're also reading through it to see who all submitted and right. what do they have to say about their recipes. Yeah. I know some Armstrong people actually submitted yes, some too. So there's several, some, yes. some celebrities from Armstrong that's that have right. submitted some. We're yeah. waiting for yours. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really good at eating. I'm not really good at cooking. but. <laughs> Well, you I can send us your favorite recipe. There to you eat. go. That's, I can do that. <laughs> I'll make sure I look for that. Yes. It'd be something sweet. I can guarantee you that. There you go. How can people help? So there's several ways they can help. The easiest way is to send us a recipe. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be something that you cook every day. It can be your favorite thing to eat, like I just said. Right. So send us your favorite recipe. We have gotten a lot of traditional cultural recipes, which is really neat to put in our cookbook. Mm -hmm. um, and you can send them. You can do it as easily as snapping a picture of it okay. and sending it to our email account. Okay. And, then and what, is, what is the email that they should send it to? Our email is easy, okay. scottdalelibrary at gmail.com. scottdalelibrary at gmail.com. Yep, they Excellent. can do that. They can drop off a copy. They can, they can submit it however is easiest for them, and we will get it in the cookbook. Okay, so someone could drop it off here at the library, too, if they just want to drop a printed copy. They could. Off. They could even put it in the book drop. Okay. Now, you get all these recipes together. When do you think the book will be available? And, and We are hoping that it will be late spring. Okay. So, right currently, I have it up on my computer, we have 173 recipes. Very added, good. And we still have a pile to enter. Okay. So we're doing really well. Our goal was 200. We're going to surpass that. Well, uh, yeah, because so, you're already 170 yeah, something. Yeah. yeah, so the bigger the better. Yeah. Now, to purchase the book, just come to the library and they can and buy one here at the library? Yep, you can come to the library. We'll have tons of stuff yeah. on Facebook. We'll have it on our website. We'll probably do some sort of pre-order so that we know how many mm -hmm. approximately to order. Um, so you, they can be looking for things like that on our website. And if you're out of town, is it possible to get one th through the... Oh, yes. Okay. Yep, we will okay. ship. We will we'll make it happen, however okay. we have okay. to. Do you have a price for the book yet? We don't. Okay. Um, we have to wait and see how much it's going to cost. We want to make it really nice, but we also want it to be very affordable. We, right. We're not going to we're not going to charge so much that people don't want to buy it. Yeah. So we want it to be um, a 
cost effective for people to buy yeah. and for us to make a dollar or so on the recipe. It'd be a great gift for people to buy, Absolutely. Uh, for, especially if someone has moved away from the community because it might yes. kind of remind them of home so that you yep. could buy those in advance and, and get them stocked up for your holiday yeah. gifts, uh, whatever that next holiday That's may right. be for you. And I know a lot of recipes say nanny's favorite cookie uh -huh. or mom's favorite chili. So these are family so, recipes. Yes. Yeah, yes. That, that's neat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, uh, COVID-19 has really changed you know, everything for the, the, the world, uh, but it's changed things here at the library too. You want to talk a little bit about sure. some of your programming and adjusted hours and, and things that are happening here at the library? Sure. So adjusted hours, we are open on a limited basis, mostly because we, um, we don't have as much staff as we used to right now. Um, so we are open Mondays and Wednesdays from 10 to 2 and Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2 to 6, and Saturdays from 9 to 12, okay. currently. Um, we are hoping as things get better and better, we're right. gonna <laughs> start getting back to normal. Yeah. So there's many ways that people can get books right now. They can order them online. They can call the library and say, hey, I'm looking for a mystery. Can you grab me one? They can call the library from outside and say, can you bring me my books out? And we'll do that for them. Excellent. We'll do whatever we can. We have people walk in that say, I want a book about a certain person and we'll just go get it for them and give it to them yeah so they don't have to be able to be it's actually easier in some ways right. <laughs> it, it, it actually is yeah we will we will accommodate however we can yeah. a lot of our programming has gone virtual okay um, especially kids programming mm -hmm. we're having story times on zoom we're, we're doing the month of February every Wednesday and I had kids register and then they picked up a backpack that had everything they would need for all four story times, even musical instruments and different things so that we can all have the same stuff during the meeting and really interact with each other. And that information on those programs is, is on your website? It's on our website and Facebook. Yep. Okay, excellent, so they can find yeah. that. Now, you, you mentioned as you were talking, like you couldn't have your, your event last year and that was like $10,000. So, so this is really important, this cookbook, to help provide some, some yeah. revenue for the, for the library. Yeah, it will definitely help. And like I said, it's, it's gonna be a, a I'm not sure what we will get from it, but at least it will be another service to the community and a way to celebrate the library too. Yeah, okay. Anything else, Christy, you wanna share with our viewers? No, I just hope that we get to see everyone this summer, especially for the children's program. Right. And hopefully we'll be in person. Um, at, the end of, at the end of November, we were still having story times outside. Okay. So we will adapt, we'll make it work however yeah, we need to. Yeah, you have that nice patio, patio area. We do. And so access we, to the gazebo area. And, and we had such nice weather for so long. Yeah. So we really did, we had story times for a long time. So even if we're meeting outside, we'll be doing something. Well folks, check the library out online, on Facebook. Uh, send in your recipes so they can have those for the cookbook and be prepared to buy your cookbooks. Great way to support the library, great way to get some great new recipes. So Christy, thank you for thank you. your time today. And this is good to know.